everybody so today i'm gonna talk about a movie that i watch and do a review about it and i'm currently filming this in my living room and i don't know if the lighting is good but like I, the, there's the sun so i thought it would be good here and also there's my siblings in their room i hope they won't disturb and so the movie that i watch is called the diary of a teenage girl and it is direct, directed by Meryl Heller in 2015 in Germany. And she also did the screenplay and also in 2010 she did a play playing the main role of Mini Goetz, the main character of this movie. She it's a um, 15 year uh, she's a 15 year old uh, teenager and she's exploring many aspects of coming of age. Like her sexuality and uh, using of, uh, the substance of drugs and yeah the other main character were her mother whose name was charlotte worthington and the actor playing this role was kristen Rigg. and the boyfriend of her mother who was whose name was monroe and the actor playing this role was Alexander Skargarol and her f the father of the of Mini was named Pascal McCorkill and the actor who was playing him was Christopher Mullen. This movie is actually an adaptation of a novel by Phoebe Gleckner with the same title, The Diary of a Teenage Girl. So this movie has also won a work in 2015 for Gotham Independent Film Award for Best Actress and in 2016 it has won an award for Independent Spirit Award for Best First Future. I think it was a great movie. It was really unique and original because I haven't watched a movie like this. Like a movie who talked about an affair between a minor with a adult and it was really like uncomfortable to see the the sex scenes because the movie the movie has had it all like the sex scene the nudity and it was really uncomfortable but like i think it was really honest of the this movie because like maybe some teenager may be going through this and it could like help them to go to like understand like to how to go through it and stuff but in the movie the the main character the teenager she was in love with the boyfriend of her mother which was really a weird weird thing to to live but i think it was nice because it's not like other other movie and like it was really realistic and honest and then she was like expressing all of her thought and how she was thinking and it was really and like all of her, what she was thinking was in the form of an animation in the movie like because she was a teenager who didn't know like her sexuality and stuff like that like she was que questioning her sexuality and she also there was a scene where she she was in front of a mirror and like looking at her body was and she was questioning like was it enough or she wasn't good enough and stuff like that and i think it it is something that most teenager goes through and i think it is really like honest of the movie and she she was making a lot of bad decision decision in the movie and it was not like other movie that you watch and it, the teenager was like super mature and doing like a great decision she she was doing like many bad decision decision and it had like many consequences but it shows like how she goes to it and i think the it was really interesting also they showed a and the part of a movie where she she took substance of drug and where she was drinking with her mother because uh, her mother wasn't really a, a role model model because she was uh, she didn't she had a small 
a, a part-time job and like she didn't and she she managed to even get fired from it and sh she was like always drinking and partying and so yeah she didn't she didn't really have a good role mother model but like on the other side her father who was a great role model in my point of view because he was always like calling her to tell her like uh read books and do this and stuff like that but she didn't really listen to he to him because when she wasn't living with him so she kind of did like what she wanted and she also wanted to become an artist and so all of her thinking was was showed in a um, form of an animation in the movie which was really great to see because it's not like other movies where there is just like the movie and stuff there in this movie they had like animation of her thinking and stuff which i think was really great and i think the movie the acting was really great like they it seems like it was like the real things and the actors also they did like sh it was also great like the main character um mini goetz the actor playing uh, belle pauli she was actually 23 at a time but she did a great job of looking like a 15 year old and it was also great and um, it all the settings you you could have feel like it was the 17s because the color settings the this you, you it looked like the 17s it feels like the 17 the 70s so i think it was all so great so i i really think that you guys should watch this movie even though it has many uncomfortable scenes like uh, a minor having sex with a adult which is the boyfriend of her mother which is really like a, a uncomfortable thing to see but like it was a great movie overall because he had many coming of age elements like i said um the questioning of sexuality the appearance her insecurities so yeah i i would give this movie a four out of five